I heard of. Um, so, we didn't look up where the Chinese zoo is with all the pandas, but I totally want to go there. Yeah. If it's uh, where we're going. Again, like, we'll obviously tell you when we're going to China, and if you remember, you can remind us, like, hey, this is something I want you to see. If it's near Beijing, great. If we're going to Shanghai, let us know. If it's somewhere we're not going to be near, not going to be able to see it. Yeah, like, you know, you got to give us the fact that, like, we've got time constraints and... China is huge, yeah. and you can't really travel outside of the major cities, even if it's not safe. Um, I, after you sent the video about Britney Spears' breakdown, I went on people.com and read, like, everything. How insane, like, is she? I totally understand kind of why she had a mental breakdown, because if someone had taken away my children, I probably would have a mental breakdown. But they but took it away because they've been having mental breakdowns. Yeah, but I would never let it get to that point. Like, I'm never going to, you know, be like doing drugs and taking care of my kids. It's terrible. Okay. And I hope she gets help, if she like, for whatever problems she has. We downloaded her new CD, because I wanted to, and I really like it. I'm surprised it didn't... Like, it's not great, but it's good to dance to, and I'm surprised it didn't do better. Um, I know you said your students were really crazy after their break, and our students are insane. were insane this week. Ridiculously insane. I had more tears this week than I've had since I've been here. Did you make anyone cry? No. I made... Well, I had... One girl, one guy I made cry because he didn't do his work, so I made him go see his son teacher and he started bawling. Um, and then I, conv I had to convince him that he wasn't in trouble and wasn't going to get hit. Then I had another girl who was crying because her stomach hurt. And you know if they're sick, like they're re if they complain, they were really sick. Because I've had kids leave my room to throw up and come back to class. So I've had a kid get his finger slammed in the door, go to the hospital, and come back. Point to Hagwon, not even to like real school, to like their academy. And um, then I had a big fight over my classes where another boy was crying. And like, I had to yell at them, Doug came up to yell, and then Harry came up to yell. And then some gave them a lecture. Those kids, those kids aren't going to mess around for a while. We had four yellings in the span of like an hour. And they did, she didn't really deserve that much, so I felt really bad. Yeah, they, I didn't like, feel bad too. I wouldn't have got up if I'd known anything else was going to happen. Yeah, especially because. They, what happened was one of my students was get, they were all teasing each other, and then the one student got like upset about it because he can't take it, he only dish it out. So he's like 13 and started sobbing in my class. And uh, the other two kids immediately realized what happened, but I still had to like talk to them, and I had Doug come up to talk to them because I was teaching. So I put the fear down. Them. And then Harry came up and screamed at them, and then Sun yelled at them. I yeah. felt so bad. I feel bad because like after I talked to them. Like, they didn't mean anything more. Like, when I talk to you, like, you know what's going on. Doug is really scary, just so you know. To a, th to a third grader, I'm freaking, like, terrifying. Um, but I came downstairs, and I'm like, ah, yeah, and he had this problem. And then Harry heard about it, and immediately, like, ran upstairs, and I'm like, oh, they're going to get a lot he of He dragged trouble. the kid out of my classroom by the ear. Harry is not the best teacher, but when, like, kids are messing with other kids, he takes that ridiculously seriously. Like, he puts a stop to any of that garbage. It's also funny, because Harry's, like, 22 years old. He's really young. Like, he enjoys... Like, I hate discipline. It's my least favorite part of the job. If I could, like, like, if it's messing around, if I could literally have somebody come in the room and take care of it, I would be the happiest human being in the world. Harry loves that stuff. Harry loves yelling at kids. The problem is, like, if the kids are being bad, you can't really send them anywhere because there's only one principal, it's Sun, and, like, Sun's busy, and sometimes he's, he's not... Stuff to do. And sometimes he's not there. So, like... There's nowhere to discipline the kids, and you can't, like, stopping the class to, like, scream at kids, really, it upsets everyone in the room, and, like, really, like, messes with the dynamic. So, it kind of sucks. Yeah, but you've got, like, a good energy going, and, like, when I had to stop class, like, I do the quiet stops. I don't yell. I, like, when you hear, like, my voice get intense, and I'm, like, I'm pointing at one kid, everybody shuts up to hear what's going on, and then, like, the energy's gone. Then I gotta, like, bring it back five minutes later. See, I can't do that, because my kids are younger, not as bright, like they're smart, but they're like, Doug has the really smart kids, and I'm a woman, so like for me to get discipline, I have to literally yell at the top of my lungs to make them stop. When I do it, like the only time I've ever yelled, like in my classes, the only time I yell at the top of my lungs is like when I'm joking, I'll be like, you, read the next sentence. When I do that, even though I'm joking, the whole class shuts up. 
And I don't even mean it to be disciplinary. I'm just kind of like trying to be funny. And like it takes them a minute to realize it. Um, okay. Tara's two baby showers. I know all about her stepmom. And, uh... It, I think it's really sweet of you to go to both. I think that's really nice. Yeah, and, you're, um, you're a good person. That's really nice of you. And, um, I'm, I'm sorry. They're eating seeds right now. It's one of my favorite things in the world to watch. They'll pick it up, Mr. get like bite off the outside, and go for like the pit, and then stick it in the cheek. Yeah, the one's cheeks are so hard because there's so many nuts like in there. If you put them in your hand and in hand, and you like rub them, like you can feel like the 20 nuts he has in his cheeks. It's ridiculous. And also, like sometimes they'll be sitting in your hand and they'll just spit nuts out, like four or five. Like, and out start of eating them. It's so funny. And um, okay, so the baby showers. Please take pictures and video because I really want to see like video of Tara like pregnant because we haven't. And um. Yeah, I want to see how that human being moves. Yeah, please, like, take videos of her, like, walking and stuff and sitting down. And, of course, George wants to go to the baby shower. Uh, yeah, it's, it's her brother, isn't it? It's her brother, and I'm sure he loves that stuff. Okay, so, how did the playoffs go, and do you know who's in the Super Bowl yet? We are completely out of touch with sports because, A, Annie and I don't really care, and B, you know, we don't we, follow it. Yeah, we care a little. Like, when we're at home and you guys are talking about it, we'll pay attention. We like, you know, we like to hear you guys talk about it. We don't hang out with anybody who watches sports. There's one guy here who watches sports, and we're not really friends with him. Yeah, okay. I had to pee, and we have to stop the video, so we'll be right back.